What's up guys? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. And guys, let me ask you a question. When you saw The Last Jedi, were you one of those people who were wondering, can't tell blind? What's up with that? You know what I mean? Like, what did it mean? Like, was there a significance to this? Did this need to be in the movie? Was this an utter waste of time or what? Were you one of those people? If you were, you weren't alone. I certainly felt that way. But now it turns out, two years later, that we have clarification on exactly what Canto Bite means to the larger story that's going on here in this NyQuil trilogy. Um, well, I guess it turns out that it's more significant than we ever thought. All right, so I have this article here on ScreenRant.com that kind of delves into the deeper meaning of Canto Bite. You got to dive in, you know what I'm saying, and find out what's going on here. And this article here is, it's here to help us, all right? So let me share this with you and be enlightened. All right, this is um, on ScreenRant.com, and the headline goes a little something like this. Hit it! Star Wars 9 pays off The Last Jedi's most disliked moment. And this is by Craig LV. And it says, <laughs> Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, looks set to finally pay off The Last Jedi's divisive Canto Bite scenes. Ryan Johnson's The Last Jedi was a marked departure for the Star Wars franchise and deliberately toyed with the audience's expectations in instances such as the final lightsaber battle and Snoke's sudden demise. The Last Jedi attracted a partisan reaction, and while some enjoyed this vastly different take on the traditional Star Wars format, others felt that Johnson's film was a betrayal of what had come before. No, 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 it wasn't. Perhaps the most derided element of The Last Jedi were the scenes set on the Canto Bight casino planet, and even some of the film's supporters reserved criticism for that particular storyline, which I don't think was fair at all. The Resistance's Finn and Rose Tico head out into space to find a master hacker who can stop the First Order tracking the good guys' dwindling fleet of ships. Although they find their man in Benicio Del Toro's DJ, the mission is a failure and the hacker sells out his new friends, revealing the Resistance's evacuation to Crate in exchange for his freedom. This final sting is the only way in which the Canto Bite material has a telling impact on the plot, as without DJ's interference, the Resistance might have been able to elude their pursuers. <laughs> Other than that, Canto Bite is certainly visually impressive. It, it, it is! You've never seen anything like it. It's beautiful. But does very little to push the plot forward, considering how much time is spent there. <laughs> But fortunately, The Rise of Skywalker will give Canto Bite a far deeper significance. Yeah! In the recently released final trailer for Star Wars 9, it becomes clear that ordinary citizens of the galaxy have started to join the Resistance in numbers. There's Poe's, good people will fight if we leave them, line. The image of a bolstered Resistance force sitting around listening to Lando and the dramatic shot of the Millennium Falcon leading a mismatch of assorted ships that have allied the Resistance's cause. This development finally pays off the Canto Bite story from The Last Jedi, yeah! <laughs> the fights between the Rebel Alliance and the Empire, or the Resistance and the First Order, mostly take place in a bubble. The opposing forces of good and evil will usually fight in space, inside a Death Star, or in a remote planet such as Hoth, Entor, or Crate. <laughs> and Crate's not like, it's not like Hoth, because it's salt. Hoth is snow. Great assault! This trope removes their heroic struggle from the everyday lives of people in the galaxy. Although the Canto Bite criticism might have been justified in the context of The Last Jedi as a standalone film, it succeeded in bringing the work of the Resistance to the very people they strive to protect! Yeah! Finn and Rose smash up the opulent casino, free the fathers or the fathers from captivity, and inspire the children. They inspire the younglings being forced to work the stables, leaving the youngsters with a heroic impression of the resistance and the Jedi. Yeah! <laughs> Although it may not have affected The Last Jedi story in any significant fashion, seeing the interplay between the Resistance and the wider Star Wars population directly sets up why ordinary people suddenly start siding with the good guys in The Rise of Skywalker. The Rebels, Resistance, and the Jedi have always been an isolated bunch, only ever teaming up with others on an ad hoc basis, such as the Ewoks in Return of the Jedi or the Wookiees in the prequel trilogy. <laughs> Alright guys, look. <clears throat> Let me just say this, all right? 
This jackass is trying to act like Cancel Bite was so important because it brought ordinary people to, I guess it brought an awareness that the resistance was out there to ordinary people because until then they had been fighting in their little bubble and no one knew. They were literally like on a playground somewhere. Just, just, you know, I'm the good guy and you're the bad guy. And they're just fighting each other. And nobody else knew that it was even going on until they went to Canto Bite. So Canto Bite, as it turns out, is the key to unlocking the, the help that the Resistance so desperately needs. That's what it's saying. So it turns out that Ryan Johnson was right. We are just too stupid. We didn't realize the, the, the magnitude of the Canto Bite sequence. This is where the 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 the, the, the cavalry is going to come from. Everything we should have known. Everything is about Rose Tico. That's what it is. If Rose Tico and I guess Finn to a lesser degree hadn't gone to Canto Bite, then the universe might not ever have heard of the resistance and the struggle. So that's what this 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 guy is trying to say. All right, just in case you got lost. All right, so uh, where is it? Um, they never managed to inspire the mass social uprising that one might expect when faced with the tyranny of the Empire and its offshoots, and it would have been jarring to see everyday folks signing up to fight in the rise of Skywalker if the change in public mood hadn't already been foreshadowed by the Canto Bite scenes in The Last Jedi. Yeah! Alright, so, basically what it's saying is that Canto Bite was foreshadowing. So, there's a concept foreshadowing. You would think if they were going to be doing some foreshadowing in this so-called trilogy, they might have foreshadowed the return of the Emperor. But unless we were just too stupid to pick up on that too, there was none of that going on. You can watch The Force Awakens again if you want to. You can even watch the holiday special. There was no foreshadowing that the Emperor was still somewhere out there. You would think somebody would have sensed his life force somehow. But no, there was no foreshadowing at all. But Canto Bite. That was some major, expertly done foreshadowing. Mm-hmm. Where was I? Um, <laughs> look, it's over. Okay, that's the end of that article, guys. So, um, listen, I just wanted to share that with you because uh, this could be a major key in unlocking the mysteries of Star Wars Episode Nine. <laughs> So it's something to think about, guys. You know, if you uh, dare, go back and watch the Canto Bite sequence in The Last Jedi and see if you pick up on the foreshadowing when they're wrecking the casino and shit like that. See if you see anyone who looks like they're being inspired to join the cause. <laughs> it's just so... See, I have to share ridiculous articles like this because it just kind of like... Um, lets us know even more that people are desperate to make this thing work. I mean, who would reach that far to come up with a theory like that? You know what I'm saying? If they didn't know somewhere deep down inside that The Last Jedi was an utter failure and a waste of a chapter of a trilogy. That's what this means to me. But you guys can tell me, does that make any sense to you that Canto Bite is going to serve or serve somehow as foreshadowing to... I guess, uh, the relief that the Resistance needs as far as, like, inspiring the rest of the galaxy. That, that's what that was. That whole scene was like a call to action for the rest of the galaxy. What do you think? Am I missing it? Is, does that make sense to you? Get in the comment section let me know. And as always, you can like, you can share, you can subscribe. And guys, when you subscribe, hit all, okay? I think you get all personalized or something but when you do subscribe and you hit that notification bell it must say all okay that's very important to me and uh, as Gary likes to say your other favorite youtubers okay notice I said other because I know I got to be one of them so anyway guys uh, <laughs> there's that and as always you can find me on Twitter I will be there all right guys that's it for now I'll catch you on the next one this is the gospel according to Mark with a C rock on yeah <laughs>